Howdy, folk. We Hello, have this, YouTube world. We're going to stand still so we can get a, what is it? Thumbnail. One. <laughs> Hopefully that was long enough of a pause. Yes, we need some good thumbnails. Instead of looking like... <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Today oh we God. have mall hall. Wee! Because we're always shopping. Shopping. We can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. So what do you have, my dear? Oh, well, I have to show real quick. I got these yeah, adorable let's little um, toilet paper earrings. For it's all the rage since COVID nineteen. The hell did I do with them? Oh, here they are. Sorry, I thought I lost them that quick. They showed oh, up they on my Facebook cute. feed like before COVID. And I thought they were so cute. And then when COVID hit, I went they back to adorable. look. They are adorable. If I can hold it up. Aren't they cute? I really like them. It's like on a little roll. Aw, that's so cute. Look at them. They are adorable. See? Little toilet paper earrings. It's like on a roll. They're they very spin apropos. a little bit. But they're very... Um, like the in times, the now. in the now, little. I should write 2020 across them. Oh God, what a year this has been. Good grief! But that's my little Tweety paper earrings. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a pair of Katy Perry's. I love these shoes. They are adorable. And they are comfy. They're see-through. Yes, I think they call it Lucite. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. L-U-C-I-T. Lucite. Lucite. Look at that. I do like that. They're so adorable, and the color is so pretty. Yeah, they had pink, black, and blue. I. They are so comfortable. They look good. I, I really They're like nice these. They're nice soft. Yeah. At Macy's. I love Macy's. And I'll just show these down one. And, and these are comfy, too. Calvin Klein's. I, I like Calvin Klein. I heard nice. they're going under. Wow. Yeah, and I know. A lot of places are going under. Like, um, just a lot of good stores, man. It's oh, maybe I should wear this bracelet. I got this bracelet from, of course, Paparazzi. Paparazzi. But it's so cute. It's white and clear. I don't know if you can really see oh, the I clearness. Like that. But it has little starfish. Oh, and I like the shells. See, yeah, it's got little seashells on it. Oh, they're cool. Little seashell. Oh, can't see with that. Oh, it's but, the sun. Yeah, the sun's really coming in bright, but it's so adorable. See the little starfish. Well, can barely be or live on air. And it's just so pretty. Maybe I, I like put this them. one instead of the other one. Would you have the pink one? Yeah. I like Which that. Little pink seed bead silver goes with my seed Papa bead necklace. Paparazzi. And paparazzi earrings. Did they go with them, or it's just the color? Just the color. Just happened to be. I couldn't figure out which anything to wear. And I'm like, oh, wait, look at that. That all match. And then I totally forgot that I got this, like, last year. So wow, I was like, holy crap, everything that's matches. Crazy. They, I thought, wow, I thought they came together. Right? It looks like a set. And then I got this. That's cute. Little pink I like ring. That. And I just got another one with a purple stone. I think I have blue, too. I like them a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. But yeah, I'm gonna wear this one instead. What do you think? Yeah, I like them. I like it a lot. Like it, it gives it that like summery tannish. Yes. Like I can't wait to get super tan because oh. white will look so nice with it. The best is when you lay out all day and like, you're like on the beach and you're oh. sweating and you look all crappy and then you take a shower and you look fantastic. I need the tan to hide all my oldness, although that's making me look even more old. <laughs> it's just cycle. No. Horrendous. Let oh. me tell you something. And look at these. <gasps> oh, I, I love. They're yes. acrylic. 
They are cool. And they're like little like petals, like flower petals. I just got them in, well, I just ordered them in coral. Wow, I like them. Aren't they cute? Yeah, a lot. Wow, that's awesome. I love them. They're like one of my new favorite earrings. Very, I like very the earrings. chic. I might have have another pair of these if I do. If you want them, I'll give you the other pair. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like it a lot. I like my jewels. I like to, you know, just spruce it up a little bit. We're going into jewels. This is from Venus. I like that. That's yeah. really cute. Yeah, this is... I got it because if you spend over 75 it's free shipping. And I got this. And I got... What else did I get? The shirt and... Oh, yeah. I got like a bra. Oh. That was nothing exciting. Can't show that. <laughs> but this is... Unmentionables. The unmentionables. I do like this. I, I like Venus a lot. Venus is... Venus and Macy's are like my go-to place. I love Venus clothes. They got some oh, really nice clothes. They're... Oh, look at these seed bead hoops I got, too. Ooh, they're seed they're bead, cool. but they're hoops. Aren't That's they neat? awesome, yeah. Like little seed bead hoops. That's really cool. I thought that they were... I was going to wear them with this, but it doesn't match. And, like, you can't have a statement necklace and statement earrings on. So. But they're cool. Aren't they neat? Yeah. I thought they were different. So I like them. I purchased them. My big whopping five dollar. Yeah. Well, <laughs> five dollars well, turns see. into like eighty thousand. <laughs> it goes quick. So I have a lot of jewelry. I'll show my part. My uh, my Chanel. 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 Um, Very I love. Uh, well, I'll go with this first. This is the. Let me see. This is the. Healthy mm, glow. It smells good. Yeah, like you put a little on your hand and you mix it and you like put it on your face yeah. and it's supposed to like healthy glow. I wonder if I should try it. And I'm always up, 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 up. Sun kissed. And it gives you that sun kissed look. Highlighter. I'm going to try it. Yeah, spritz. yeah. It's, I love how it feels. I love Chanel stuff. This was. $48 on Chanel, but it's worth it because they give you a lot. I mean, this will last me forever. Like, that Dior stuff I bought in Vegas last year, I still have it. And really? It, but it's really good skincare products. Well, that's good. I mean, if it's worth it, if it lasts. Do I look fabulous? You look sun-kissed. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Yeah. It does. Uh, it gives you, like, that glow. because I, I can see it on your cheeks. Yeah. Like, I know. I like, I like it. It smells good. Yeah. It's got a nice scent. I love it. And this, of course, is Chanel number no. 5. I got it for Christmas from my hubs. But I, my daughter said it smells like old ladies. <laughs> so I got <laughs> this. Chance. And they have several colors. This is you... Rocky or F R A I C H E, but they have Frushy. different colors. Frosty. I don't know. It's fronts, um, but this smells fantastic. I, I got. It does smell good. I like that. I think there's there's several colors of this. Chance. That's Chance from Chanel, and she approves. My daughter says it doesn't smell like an old lady. Um, Chance from Chanel. It, it does come in several... Oh, yeah. The pink is You Tender. That's nice. And then they, they have, like, a bunch. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's yellow. You see, they have a whole bunch of stuff. But it's cool. They see yellow, Oh, okay. Green. Different colors. Yeah. If you go on Chanel site... You can see all the different colors of Chance. The, that's the perfume. And I mean, this wasn't bad. For perfume from Chanel, it was 60 bucks for this. And if you get it from Chanel, they don't charge you any tax, any shipping, nothing. Oh, that's good. It's whatever it costs. Uh, maybe they do charge tax, but that's it. No shipping. I can't stand paying shipping. Shipping's annoying. annoying. Like, I'm buying something from you. Yes. You should be paying for it. Yes. Like, 
Oh my god, dad, my dad used to go insane, like our dad used to go insane when you would, he loved this place called Hayban, and if I couldn't get a free shipping coupon, he would not buy it. Like he just wouldn't, I, he, he just won't pay for shipping. Even if it was $14, <laughs> like $14 for the item, and then $2 for the shipping, he just would not pay it. If it's over $3, I, I don't like it. Well, Venus <laughs> ticks me off because you'll see something for like 29 bucks, and then it's $7 shipping, or it's seven ninety five, and it yes. does make it... It makes it a big difference, you know? It's annoying. Like, I ain't got it like that. It's, it's, no. It's As Tiffany Jenkins would say, I'm balling on a budget. <laughs> And I just found these on your floor. What are these? Oh, they're awesome. You can have one because... Oh, and the tape. Don't forget me. Don't forget oh, to give yes, me the tape. Yes, yes, yes. She has some anti-wrinkle tape stuff. And it works. I need it. It works excellently. I need a facelift. So I will give this to you. Bio See, look at that. Look how much... <laughs> Try this at night. Oh, fucker. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> or just put the tape... On and have, like, yes, I walk things. around like that with tape all Just over my face. Just bring them and put it on at night. And see oh, all right, I'll check it out. I have so many anti-aging neck. Yeah, but like your neck. Oh, I, the neck thing is the only one. I'll show you the neck thing Ooh. though, but it's only for one. Immediate tightening effect, firms, plumps, and smooths. That's a quite a bargain. Neck. See okay. what you find on my floor. <laughs> I know, right? I can go shopping. <laughs> This is from my friend Shampin. Lisa. She is selling skinny brews, and I'm gonna try it. Does your coffee help you burn fat? Woo! Fat burning if coffee. If coffee made me skinny, I would be five pounds. <laughs> Natural caffeine blend. What did I get? Oh, neutral. I looked that up. That's like stuff. It like a. Vitamin to help with memory and motivation. Oh, and cool. I'm going to try this. I can't wait to try this. Yeah, you'll have to let me know how it is. Yeah. Wow, well, if I could get rid of my gut. I would love to. Even if I could just lose. I was out of work with that COVID. And I, I have like a physical labor job. So I put on some extra pounds. When summer's about to hit, when I should have been losing weight, I am gaining weight. So, but it's slowly but surely we are getting back to work. So hopefully, slowly but surely the pounds will get off. And slowly but surely they'll open the gyms. I mean, come on, people. Yes. I mean, I. It's ridiculous. Enough is enough. It's going to be shut down. Well, yeah, I'll keep I, I know, cause it sucks. Like seriously, I worked in the pathology my whole entire life i i know covid's different i understand that and yes in the beginning okay because we didn't understand it it was good because the old elderly we we learned how to blah 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 but you have to no matter what normal healthy people have to be introduced to every germ that's true you need to build up an immunity and there's no getting around it like you have to so this all i understand what are, you know the slowing it down and all that but you can't isolate uh, people forever it's just that is not good it really isn't it's not good I, I i know it doesn't make sense and people argue it down but it's, it's the truth when you're introduced to bacteria no matter what it is you know you work through it and i'm not talking about the elderly or those that were immunocompromised i'm talking about just the regular population I, I just don't agree with shutting down things like this. It was a little out of control. But John Q. Public. John. <laughs> <laughs> what did mom always used to so say? Down. What did mom, um, Harvey Milk Toast? <laughs> <laughs> Harvey Milk Toast. I think it was some radio show back when our grandmother was Oh young. God, that's right. What was, was that 
what was that oh, name? Oh, that was something like... Oh, I wish I could remember. Oh, it was so weird. The it radio was... show. I wonder if it, like, my memory would pick it up. Because I did oh, Google it. That's, was it like Mill, Millie? Oh, not the really she vanilla. Said, Millie, uh, Millie radio Bean. Show. Radio Gaga. Radio Goo Goo. God, there's a sun glare coming down. Maybe I'm going to be lifted up to heaven. Look, do you see it? Oh my oh. god! <laughs> <laughs> the heavens are upon you, my sister. Don't oh. fight it. Hi! <laughs> can you see the light? <laughs> what I light? Can see the light. Blues Brothers. What light? <laughs> uh, yeah, what light? There's no light. Can you see the light? James Brown is the <laughs> the pastor. Oh God! Oh, what a great movie. One of my all-time favorite movies. That was our dad. Loved, loved it. it. I, I remember when we were kids and our mom and dad, we got had to get a babysitter because they were going to the movies right. to go see it. And I remember when they went to see The Godfather because we had to get a babysitter. <laughs> but when we went to Woodhaven, the line was, because oh. there were only two movie theaters, remember? Two. Wow. Dos, not 14. Jeez. Two. It was, and it was like probably two bucks to get in. Yep. Now not it's, now. Ninety dollars, if you want to. Unless you go on Tuesdays when when the Joker That's came right. out. Remember, we kept going on Tuesdays because they, it was they had like, like deals break. and stuff. Look at this. Look. What is it? A hair? Yes, <gasps> and it's. <laughs> oh my god! One time I had a hair; it was coming out of my chin like this. Jesse was his. Oh, I've had that. I've had that. I got like a really long hair out of on the back <laughs> of my leg. I always get it because I have this horrible scar. I can tell you a story. Oh, I got it. When I was a kid, there's a hospital named Burdette, and this is of no surprise to anybody. It's down by Wildwood. Worst hospital on the planet, probably still is. They put one stitch. I fell. One stitch. When we got to Frankfurt, it was Frankfurt at the time, um, the guy said, did you stitch this? And mom was like, no, they did it Burdette. And he was like, oh. Why would New Jersey? <laughs> oh my God. I would still have a score 50 years later or Jeez. however many years. I, I, 10 years ago. <laughs> it was when I was five. I have a chin scar. I think all Northeast Philly kids have the Yeah, everyone chin falls. Scar. I fell off the, um... We had a little wall out front on our front Yeah, how did stoop. you fall? The little wall out front of our house. I was walking around it. Really? And I slipped off and I banged it on the... And now I look at that wall when I drive by. Like, did it it's shrink? So, I know. It's There's so no way tiny. it was that tiny. Like, uh, Or Dad always says, when you fall, do you go like this? Or you just go like <laughs> this? <laughs> he said, do you put your hands out? Or you just... <laughs> Face first. <laughs> he was so pissed. I used oh, to drive him man. nuts. Yeah, could you imagine going down Wildwood for the week when your kids has to go? Get well, stitches? we were supposed to go home, and I did that. Oh, uh, And that's, he, he was kind of happy. Yeah. Dad didn't want to stay long. When he was ready to go, he wanted he to wanted go. He wanted to go. Um, <coughs> this one, now this, I belong to the Book of the Month Club. Which I like. And I at first I was going to cancel it because I'm like, I have too many books. But they do a great thing. They put books out a month before. Because this book oh. is by Riley Sager. And anyone who's a... They, everyone's going nuts for this author right now. He, the, he, the Riley Sager lives in Princeton, New Jersey. So okay. he's always at that Barnes and Noble. I'm waiting for him to come if they do it just with all the COVID. But he's excellent. I love his books. And this one's the new one. It's just I've been so busy with a lot of things that I haven't been able to read. I read The Hunger Games. It, it was okay. But uh, something was, yeah, it wasn't. I, and I love the Hunger Games. It's just the latest, the prequel. Uh, something was just missing from it. And I don't know what. But this is so far so good. 
and um, I mean, in, in the Hunger Games, it was it wasn't bad. It just wasn't like the other ones I couldn't put down. This is good too. It's not supposed to technically come out till June thirtieth, but it's good. It's a it's a what's it about? It's a haunted house. Like, Ooh. you know how the Amityville Horror came out, and it was like the guy wrote the book, but it was fake. Yes, that's what this is. It's this kid inherits a house that he hated living in because his father made all kinds of money off of it. Like, he wrote about it, and he said it was haunted, but it isn't. Okay. And I'm not telling you anything. It's totally in the very beginning. So he gets, like, he's inheriting it right now, literally at the beginning, and he's pissed because he's like, I don't want this house. I want nothing to do with it. It ruined my whole childhood. But in the beginning right here, it says... There's something wrong with the house. Ooh. So that's the big mystery. Home before dark. Ooh. It says alternating between Maggie's uneasy homecoming and chapters from her father's book. Home before dark is the story of a house with long buried secrets and a woman's quest to uncover them, even if the truth is far more terrifying than empty. And actually, he wrote the Final Girls, and now that's the new term, the final girls. Like uh, the last girl to be killed in the whole Oh, movie. okay. That's the like, final girl. Hmm. And that was a good book, too. He wrote a couple of them. A couple under his notch. Of them. He's a good egg. Which you have to let me know how it is. Yeah, because the final girl is the last time I lied and lock every door. I, I like the final girls the best. I, I remember that one. Very, very good. I'm still... What? The Laura Clary book. Oh, really? I feel terrible. I just kind of forgot about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, what about the... It's been so crazy. The, the Motley Crue. Oh, my God. I completely forgot just start, about that, If too. you started... Um, yes. That's trust what you need me. to do is start it. It's still in my book bag. I'll have to uh, put it... It's so Next freaking. to my phone charger. We went down the shore when I was reading that, and I couldn't put it down. Uh, it was so good. I can't wait. That's going to be definitely be interesting. You realize how goofy... Not that Lars isn't. It's just me. I'm not a big reader, and I really have to be in the mindset, and everything's been so crazy. I crazy and chaotic lately that I will get to it. No offense to Laura. I love her. I think she's hilarious. I haven't seen one of her videos in a long time. Yeah, I haven't looked. Oh, I haven't. Okay. Tiffany put something up. Tiffany Jenkins put something up the other day. Now I don't even remember what it was. It was good, though. Oh, I think she was trying to new product like a it's a I hair dryer like yeah, thing yeah. yeah it's good it's cute it's oh funny. i wanted I to do her. we'll do it next time the the wax because i did use the wax oh strips, yeah i'm hoping i can get my and it worked we're good i have to now that stuff is opening i'm gonna see if my eyebrow oh it's chippies. been hell on earth i when putting out Right, the right shoe podcast.com. Check them out, it's Check coming them out. Soon. They're very entertaining. If you like true crime, oh. you will like the right shoe. And the next one I'm going to do is about Angel Bumpus. She got 61 years, and I don't know. Oh, that's a nice pair. It's the right shoe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to start taking pictures. Have you ever seen one? Cause I just was driving down Aramingo Ave like three weeks ago, and there was I could see in the up ahead <laughs> that there was a shoe laying in the road. And I was like, I have to see if I can see if that's right or left. And it was the right. And it was I the right. Get it's over always that. the right shoe. I told my husband about the name, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and I told him behind, and he's like, well, now I like that. Because <laughs> it's so, I'm telling it's you. It's true. It's always going to be, I mean, not always, but, but I would say 90% of the time, it's a right shoe that you're finding in the light, in, in the street. It's bizarre. Like, I always go back to that Unsolved Mysteries, which every, every true crime podcast, I'm sorry, gets, like, in the beginning, maybe not as much now gets their stories from Unsolved Mysteries episodes. It's just mm. because they were fascinating. Well, this one story is about this guy named Kurt Sova. He was like a 15-year-old kid. He got... His parents couldn't find him. 
They later find out that he had gotten drunk, like really drunk, and he wasn't a drinker. Mm -hmm. Well, he went outside. His friend was like, I'm going to get you your coat. He goes to get his coat, comes back out. His friend's gone. They find him five days later in this ravine, dead. Never even really knew. They said the elements. They kind of just threw it up in the air. That reminds me of another one I want to tell you about. Go ahead. But it, his right shoe was missing. Uh, like four months go by and this Eugene Gavette is found in that ravine with his right shoe missing. And Pipe is the Wise right shoe. shoe. That's, that's right. That's the first time. That's the first um, right shoe I did was because it was named for Pipe is the Wise. Or Matthew Larson was his name. But that's, that's because he was found with his right shoe missing. And that's how it all started. I'm like, why is it always the right shoe? Yeah. I, it, it's very bizarre. Like, I would like to know if any like, yeah, like forensics why? people or whatever has, like, a take on that. Like, yeah. is it just coincidence or is there it's something to it? Like, why is it always the right? It's just odd. And why, like in the streets, when we're, I got to start taking pictures when I when I think of it. I wish I would have. Although it's I was in the middle of Aramingo, <laughs> I don't think that would have been a very safe. Aramingo Avenue, it's like extremely crowded. I can just picture you hanging out the window. <laughs> yeah, and it was like on the passenger side, and I was driving. I was like, stop! stop. And go. I need to get a picture of the right shoe. <laughs> Hold up, like a right shoe sign. Stop Sorry, with the right shoe, <laughs> arrow pointing. But what were you gonna tell me? This I just heard this really fascinating story about Holly Bartlett. Oh, I don't. Did know. you ever hear her? She was a blind girl. No. That was like found like far from her house, and they said it was just like some drunk blind girl that just didn't get home. But they. They've had people look into it, and, like, so really? many things were weird, and, like, the cab driver that dropped her off was like, oh, I just dropped her off and left, but then he's saying, well, I don't want to say too much, because I want you to check it out on your own. The Har Holly Bartlett. Holly Bartlett. She, it was Nova Scotia. God, there's so many good stuff coming out right now. We I got. Mean, it's not Philly, but it's it's. Oh uh, well, I'll have a, right so now. Good. I have so, the Angel Angel Bump, Bumpus. She's not from Philly, but her case bothers me so much because she was given 61 years. I it's very well known about that. I just cannot. I'm very surprised. Just because of the way you'll hear, listen to the right show because it's disturbing. But anyway, also, the one I want to do is Lori Vallow, who's a complete whack job. I mean, this girl, sorry, she is. I mean, I guess, you know, that you shouldn't say that, but there's something wrong with her. She said that she's the 144,000 angel to come on this earth, and yet she, she obviously did something to her kids because they found them dead. I mean, it, they, that's the woman whose children they kept asking. They were putting her in jail because they said she wouldn't produce her children. And the ex said, I think she did something. And then the ex gets, oh, it's, it's insane. I don't want to say too much with that either. Oh, my God. Oh, it's Stitcher. That's the... But here she is. She was a blind girl, and she had, like, a few drinks with her friend. And she looks very familiar. She was not like a feeble blind person like that she didn't know what she was out. doing. Like, this woman, you know, she knew what she was doing. She knew how to get herself home. And her friend that was out with her said if she was even remotely close to that drunk, she would have like oh, went wow. with her. Look, she had, look. It's a whole six episodes. I've never heard of her, and it popped up on one of my um, suggestions on YouTube, and I listened to it on the way to work. Look how many episodes! It's, it's like six hours long. It's truly mind blowing. I think oh, it was. See, I'm gonna. I don't know yeah, if it was yeah, like let's listen to the. This is what happened to Holly Bartlett podcast trailer. Let's just, just listen to this. On the morning of Saturday, March 27th, a steel worker was arriving for his shift at the north base of the McKay Bridge in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. It was minus 10 degrees. There was something red laying at the base of one of the massive concrete abutments on the frozen earth. He realized it was a person. 
a dead body, he thought. But Holly Bartlett's heart was still beating. Oh, we didn't hear that. She was laying underneath the bridge for five hours, breathing. The 31-year-old's death was ruled an accident. Drunk, black girl, case closed. No foul play is suspected. They didn't even have the autopsy done. Drunk? Oh, this drunk flying girl. This has become one case that was never solved. Okay, so that's Maggie. Mag her name is Maggie Gore, did she say? I just want to give her uh, yeah, props. Yeah, that was the one that I was re- I think that's actually the one I heard on YouTube. Cause Sti well, Stitcher, people on Stitcher sometimes do have their, like, um, Criminally Listed, I know, does their- Well, I don't even think they do podcasts. It's all on YouTube. But, uh... uh Trace Evidence does it on YouTube, but I just want to give this person, it's, it's a six part series, it's on Stitcher, this I played, it's from Accessible Media Incorporated, Ocean, it says Ocean on the side, and I would strongly recommend um, going on to Stitcher to listen to this. I, I am I am playing it from this uh, Maggie is the girl's name who was speaking it just sounds so fascinating I strongly recommend that you go to Stitcher and what happened to Holly Bartlett it's a it's a six part episode which that's right up my alley so I will definitely listen to it it's really good also this is the one that I uh, listened to when I was driving somewhere the other day. I don't remember where I was going, but I'd never heard of the story, which... I, was I never heard of yeah, this. Yeah, like, I, I've... You know, we're both into true crime. We are even more than me, but... I never heard... I her, She looks familiar, but I don't... And Nova Scotia, that's up in... It's um, just a crazy Canada. story, and it, and it feels... Oh, this looks great. I just felt bad parts. for the family because they just called in an accident. Like, she was just some blind girl that didn't know what the hell she was doing. And Well, that's, that's like with Pipus. Well, although with him, I can see... I don't want to say any... I just want to say that his death is still considered pending to this day. Oh. Pipus the Wise. And it's a shame because that kid was on his way up. He would have been huge huge YouTuber that crime what was his um it's a shame because he he was a good looking kid and and I'm sure his partner although remember we had that one of him dancing oh my gosh <laughs> this kid's videos were funny like, they mean, were interesting yes what was the name of that oh look there he is what was the name public of cinema club it That's was the it. um when they did, uh, when they were in the, this is it, Buried Alive. Yes. In Philly. Oh my God. You got to look up Public Cinema Club. It's my first episode on The Right Show. It's about, he called himself Pipus the Wise. His real name was M Matthew Larson. He was only 26 when he died. His death is a mystery. It's still listed as pending, but... I feel sorry for like his friends because they were especially this guy because they were always together. Yeah. Like they they were paid thirty thousand dollars by ABC Sci Fi to come up with something. And wow. he was gonna do it about Kelpius Cave. Yeah. But he became obsessed with it. Like they were like you couldn't even talk to him anymore. It, he was so obsessed with that cave. That's why like wild. oh you they weren't there. I thought you came with no, us. It was Jesse. I didn't go. Yeah. You should come with us because it's like weird when you go in. Like, that was the first doomsday cult of its okay. kind. And where where is it? Fairmont Park. Okay. Because when you walk in, like, people are so nice. They're like, oh, yeah, it's right over there. And that's one thing I have to say. I, I, I'm not going to get political or anything. But, like, when I read, like, we have this Citizens app, okay? And I was looking, and these people. We're being so mean to each other, and they're like, oh, everything's blah, blah, blah. But I said, like, 
when I go outside, nobody's Everybody's mean. Everybody's friendly, I know. Everyone's I extra nice, if anything. I have not seen anybody mean in in real life. When I'm walking in Penny Pack, every race, color, creed, whatever, everybody's nice to each other. I don't see the anger that I see on the internet. And I think it's because you can hide behind the internet. Like, when yeah, I see people yeah, in person... that's true. The keyboard warriors. Yeah, like, they're so... Like, I very pleasant. I, I don't have any issues. I'm just shocked that online, everyone's... Rah! And then you go outside, and everyone's like, Oh, do you need any help? And I don't I'm like, get it either. It's just bizarre. Can I we don't... all just get it along? <laughs> and, I don't, and I don't see that hatred out there. I always see it on the internet. That's oh, what I'm freaks so me tired. out. I, I've been trying to, trying. I'm not succeeding very well, but just trying to stay off all the negativity. I can't stand it. I, I don't like negativity either. I don't negativity like bre begats negativity. Yes. When like, you're positive, it brings positive things. It does just does. MLK say uh, hate does not drive out hate. You it know? doesn't. Only it's... love can do that. But it's true. Like I know. I, I'm nice to everybody. Like I don't care what gender or race or religion or whatever. I you mean, know? when we were young, gay people really had it bad. Oh, so bad. Like, so really bad. bad. Like, you couldn't, if you were gay... They you, would kick your butt. And you would have to hide it, and now it's, thank God it's that it's very more, open. Like, who's to say, like, it, like, if I was gay and somebody was like, oh, you're like... I know, who you? cares? Like, don't worry about what I'm doing. I never understood that. Why I do people care? I, I don't it's so understand. ridiculous. Exactly. Live your own life and be the best person you can be. And don't and worry about that. the guy next door unless they need a hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it's just so ridiculous. I hate it. I hate all this hate. And oh, shit. it drives it's me It's 2020. Insane. Oh, what a... This... I will never forget... That when things started getting weird, we, I, I will never forget. I was at work, and somebody was like, they canceled March Madness. And I was like, what? Like, that was the beginning. After that happened, I was so shaken by that. It was weird how they were just shutting everything And then everything it was, down. and I was supposed to go to Florida. And That's then they right. shut Disney. I yeah. was like, they shut down Disney World? Like, I was just like, no. Like. I know, we're like, they're not going to shut down yeah. Disney. <laughs> I know. I was like, there's no way. And then Jimmy was like, Deb, they just shut. I thought he was kidding. I'm like, no, no. It was the worst. I couldn't go to Disneyland, people. <laughs> There's nothing worse than that. 2020. I'm waiting for locusts. <laughs> locusts, like in the Blues Brothers. Yeah. Locusts, I swear to God. Oh, my gosh. Memories crying to carry fish in. Yep, yep, and underneath the tunnel. <laughs> Because we had COVID, and then we had murder hornets, and... Oh, my God, the murder hornets. Like, which... What, what are they? There's supposedly some wasp that will kill all of our bees, which, you know, we need bees. Oh, my God. What is going on in this world? I think there's a lot of bull malarkey going on <laughs> in this world. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm a bit of a conspiracy theorist, but I don't put anything past anybody. Yeah, anymore. Oh, let's see. Let's Nothing see. surprises oh, me Daddy, anymore. I'm glad you guys let me know how it is and if you um, want to get in. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> your face. I'm oh, sure no, really. You're like. <laughs> I know, I'm playing that blind chick. I hope you know that that's Stitcher. I want you to know that that was Stitcher um, related. I only played the trailer, and it's what happened to Holly Bartlett, but it, it I have nothing to do with it. It's from Accessible Media Incorporated Ocean, because I know podcasts, there's a whole lot of crap. Uh, apparently, one of the podcasts that I actually like a lot 
they were plagiarizing. Yes. Um, and, and, like, the one girl, she had apparently a, a person that was a journalist. Yeah. She did a whole six-part series. She was like, I knew it was from mine because I was the only one who did that interview. And she got pissed, and she was like, if you don't take that down, I'm, I'm suing. Yeah, And then they took right. all these things off their website. And it wow. devastates me, because I, it's one of my absolute favorite podcasts. I can, well, no wonder. They were getting good <laughs> stuff from everybody else. I was devastated. I was like, what? Oh, that's awful. I, I, it really... And I would never do that. Like, I am so, like, I look up everything. Give credit where credit's due. Yeah, if I read something from somebody, I always will say exactly where I got it from. That's why I got the website, so that I can put, like, show notes and yeah. have, like, where. Because I don't want anyone to ever accuse me of yeah, taking plagiarizing. Somebody's... I research, trust me. I Ever since I was a kid, I've done nothing but read. So that's our fabulous thing. We got kind of off track again, but yeah, well. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so it makes it so interesting. So let's get another picture either, for Jesse or for our producer. <laughs> either way I look, I'm going to look like. I look fine. I look like I have a melon head, and I, I look like I'm going. Mask. I'm going to meet Jesus in five minutes. <laughs> I'm getting on the train. <laughs> <laughs> Al, you. <laughs> that is crazy. They've been on you. Those rays. <laughs> we're gonna have to like put something. Yeah, up here we're gonna so have to can, fix it. We look like we're the angel <laughs> sisters. She's getting lifted up the, okay. the heavens. I'll, I'll just sit like this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't read our beautiful live on air sign. Yes. Somebody had this. They It was on Amazon because I always read the reviews. They had this at their work desk so Aww. people wouldn't bother them. <laughs> That's cute. I love it. I, I would like to bring it to work. It is cute. Chop. So... I'm used to Didn't saying this is Debbie Kuther, right? We have to think of a snazzy ending. Um, like and subscribe. Oh, yes. Like, subscribe. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear. Tell yes. us if you want us to try a product. We would like feedback. Like, or if you want to drink some products. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the... Oh, God, don't say that. People will be doing oh, it. that's right. Do don't not drink, drink Chanel Number no. 5. Bathe in it, but yeah. not drink it. Uh, Chanel, our... Marilyn Monroe supposedly bathed in it. Oh. But believe me, it would sting so bad. You wouldn't last yeah, long. Yeah, it wouldn't be good. But Don't yes, drink it. Tell us, like... Yeah, what do you want to hear? Should we never make another video again? <laughs> would you like us to make... Do something, like... The condom or, challenge? Like, the what? The condom challenge. <laughs> Store condoms up our nose. We're not gonna do that. That's we did this condom challenge one time, and it got like 200 hits in like a second. Oh my god! I don't even remember what the condom challenge was. I have no idea. I had to. There was the kid. They were snorting them up their nose. <laughs> we didn't do that. <laughs> I know that no, wasn't not. A part of it. Or then when we were when Jess was little, we made that. She took it down. I, I didn't. She did. She was embarrassed. Um, it was a. We got lightsabers oh. and pretended to. She's yeah. like, take that down. She's, now she's older and she doesn't, you know. She's embarrassed by everything. Yes, she didn't want it. But um, if you want us to like, I don't know, try out a product. Yeah, or like something? that's why I wanted to do that. Damn it, yeah. we can do it next week. I did buy um, it's wax. the wax, and it did work great for me. But my eyebrows are very thin, and okay. Jesse's. It didn't seem like it grabbed her hair okay. because, like, when I ripped mine off, the hair was noticeable. Yeah, her, like she was ripping it off, and she was like, Aww. like, and then she has these thick eyebrows. Yeah, Jesse does have <laughs> thick eyebrows. Mine, I gotta. Mine are just hideous right now. I found a woman; she threads them with the thread. Oh, that hurts me so bad. I'd see, I like the first time. Both of them hurt the wax and the thread. Yeah. But 
the thread, I don't know, I can deal with that a little better. Because, like, she has to pluck the little strays at the end. The plucking hurts me more than yeah, waxing. Yeah, pluck, yes. I am not. And I, I don't agree. know what I'm doing. I was always a tomboy, so. Plucking is. I don't know what to do with my eyebrows. Plucking hurts. And what's the other thing that I was going to say? Uh, like, oh, one thing you have to watch. I, I have something called dry eye. And it's when your your eyes literally, like the first layer kind of got messed up. So I, it doesn't produce tears as much. And here, I'll do this so we can, for the... Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I made God. it worse. I That's all right, you can leave. I thought maybe I could flip look, these the other look way. Look here, if it's here, it's okay. Like at least the, there's no... Yes, no raise. So... When I was getting my eyebrows done, like they thread. When you get your eyebrows done, like I loved. You how mean your it eyelashes? Looked. Eyelashes. That's it. I loved how it looked, but it screwed up my eyes so bad. So if you have dry eye or anything wrong with your eyes, do not get your eyelashes threaded. I loved yeah. how it looked. I, yeah. I didn't even have to put makeup on, and she was charging me like practically nothing. In the end, because I was going every yeah, week. Yeah, you going so much. But it, I'm telling you, at one point, I was, like, pulling my eye. Oh, I, that feeling. We were in Walmart, me and my daughter, and I was going nuts. I was like, get, I'll never get it done again. Yeah, you don't want to be messing with your eyes if you have eye problems. Like, yeah, because they have to thread it, and it was really starting to hurt me. So mm. I'm not a very... And just because it looks like God's telling us to get the hell off. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm wondering if I could... That's so funny. Flip them. Hold on, let me... Yes, I'll show you if it goes off. see if it makes a difference. I mean, we can... Next time I yeah. can get, like, darker shades. Figure something out. Oh, now it's real over nice all and of us. Look. Oh, jeez. Boy, that was helpful. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks. I only did a couple. All right, we're going to go. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. We're going to the lobby.